Hello everybody, this is that Zoo for Retro Core Podcast, and this is Mario Kart 64. You can see, you couldn't tell by the intro or the title. So yeah. Yeah, for the retro for you retro core kids, I decided to play me some Mario Kart 64 for you. Now, I decided to do Mario Kart 64 because A, Mario Kart 64 is probably my fav- personal favorite Mario Kart. And B, well, if you watch the Retro Core Weekend Challenge, you know I have a hot shot at the Wii version. Now let's see how I can do it my root game. Yeah, I did have an SNES. I had a, the first Nintendo system I remember owning, owning was in 64. Yeah, 64. So this is the first Mario Kart I played. I played the SNES one too. But yeah, I still prefer this. I played all of them actually, but I still prefer this one. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, for this, for this series of videos, I want to take you through the four cups of Mario Kart 64. That's only been done a thousand times, right? But it's fun for me and stuff. You see, you can play with one to four people, but since I'm by myself, I have to do one player. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you got time trials and Mario Grand Prix. We're going to do Grand Prix. So, I really hate mirror mode, so... Not doing mirror mode. 150 cc. The best. So yeah. So what I plan on doing is that I'm gonna record these next four videos of Mario Kart straight in order. So this is gonna be all one session. I'm gonna do Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, Star Cup, and um, Special Cup all in one session here. I don't know why I mentioned that, but that's what I'm gonna do. You can see that you got eight drivers, so that's I can use four people. I, I usually use Luigi, but I don't think you want to hear him. Yahoo! all the time. So I'm going to pick a different different racer for each cup. You may notice that there's going to be four left over. Well, I do have something else planned for parts five through eight, but that'll be until after this session. Yeah, for, the, for the mushroom cup, we're going to use my main man, Luigi. That's a go. That's a go. I know this, this is original, right? Nobody's ever done this. Okay. Turbo start, turbo start, turbo start. Ugh. Screw you, Yoshi. So yeah, Mario Kart 64. Okay, it's been a while since I played this, actually. I didn't practice this beforehand. It's been a while since I played this, actually. I still remember how to drift, though. You remember, you have to keep waggling the stick back and forth to drift right. And if you're really good, you can snake. I used to be able to snake in this. But since I haven't played this in a while, I can't really snake anymore. But you made this. The AI is really cheating in this game. So if they're on screen, if they're on screen with you, they'll spin out like a normal person. But if they're off screen, they will um, respawn. They will recover very quickly. And look at look at second and third place right now. Look how fast they're gaining on me. That's inhuman. The computer can go faster than the human players. Than a human player. But as you can see, since I screwed them over with the items, I do got a bit of a lead on me now. A bit of a lead on them. So, this, this one's going to be an easy trick. I got, I got a good enough lead. See, look at this. I'm already one screen... I'm already a quarter of a TV screen ahead. <laughs> oh, screw it. Oh, I, I thought that was going to boomerang back and hit me. That would have been a laugh, wouldn't it? Man. Yeah, this is my first Mario Kart game, like I said, and this is the one I have the most memories of. Me and my sister played this game a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I didn't really have a lot of people to play with, usually just me and my sister. So yeah. So yeah, first place on the first course. I bet you weren't expecting that, right? But if I remember how to snake, I could get really get ahead. But yep. Yeah. Mario Kart 64 is different, though, than for the new ones. See, see, first place gets nine, second gets six, third gets three, and fourth gets one. You see, fifth or eight gets zero, but if you get, but if you finish fifth or worse, you're forced to retire and do the race again. The thing is, though, you have unlimited re- retries as well, so you keep failing the race until you get first place if you wanted to. That's what I did as a kid. If I didn't get first, I would potentially fall back to fifth and re- get a free retry. 
And you, you may notice on the main menu you get the Grand Prix and two player mode as well. As long as one, per one human player finishes fourth or higher, you both advance, regardless of what the second player had finished. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say already. That's a, that's a sign of good commentary right there. That Moo Moo Farm. Sam, so yeah, anybody knows Luigi's, Luigi's Circle was remade for Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. They had fun. They didn't really. They added that you, know, you can go on to the outer rim on the on the wide corners, but that's about it. Moo Moo Farm. This was remade for the DS version. It's pretty much a carbon copy. Nothing new. No thrills. Since I'm a ghost, I can just run through these Monty moles. I really hate this. I really hate this control stick. Oh, hey, when did you get here? You're inside me. That doesn't sound right at all. You're the one inside me. You. Well, we are brothers. Ooh. Oh. See what you do is also in the 64 version. There's a way to dodge spinning on a flipping on banana peel. If you press the if you press the D button when you start to slip, you'll be able to dodge it. So yeah, that's something that you can't do in the new ones. As soon as you hit a banana peel, you're going to spin out. But on 64... Oh, why did I slip? Yeah, that happens too. Sometimes it'll slip out of control for no reason. Seemingly no reason. Yeah, usually what I do is I put the fake item boxes at, right next to the real item boxes. But the computers usually follow a set path, so if you place them in their path, they'll run over it. So if you, learn, if you know where, where the computers are going to race, so you can place crap in their way and they'll run over it. They're, they're going to go along a set line until you disrupt their path. So yeah, that's the thing about these older games. You, you, you have that, uh, cheating AI and, you, and predictable AI for some games. But yeah, let's go. Koopa Troopa Beach. Again, this was remade for Mario Kart 7. They added some blind and underwater features, but pretty much by and large the same, and I screwed up the turbo start there. But I got some manners. Now, you can take, sorry about the camera here, but you can take the shortcut without a mushroom, but I don't recommend it. This is what I usually recommend. We don't have a mushroom. And figures, I get a mushroom when I take this way. Now, there's a, there's a, here's a box up here. If you hit this box, oh, you saw I went past this an automatic blue shell. No matter what position you win. There's another box like that similar on Luigi's Raceway. Luigi's Raceway. You saw the hot air balloon bobbing up and down. If you, hit the, if you hit the box attached to that balloon, that's another automatic blue shell. Now, on the 3DS versions of both tracks on Luigi, Luigi's Raceway, Luigi's Raceway, it just gives you a, ran, a regular item on the 3DS. And Koopa Troopa Beach, that item box up there is replaced with a coin. Yeah, Mario Kart 7 brought coins back. You know, like Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I like the coin idea. I like that. City Kong racing and stuff. I like the coin idea. It gives, it gives you that slight boost in speed as you get more, but it's not, not it's never too overpowering that a person with zero coins or bananas can can not win. It's balanced just right. And you and you lose them when you get hit and stuff. So that's always something. Now it's been a while since I played Diddy Kong Racing too. Maybe I should do that for you guys too. I really like Diddy Kong Racing too. Honestly I might prefer Diddy Kong Racing over over Mario Kart 64. But they're both really good games. Them, them themselves. So yeah, Mark, I might do Diddy Kong Adventure Mode of Diddy Kong Racing down the line here. Don't know for Retro Core channel or personal channel, but I'll think about it. But yay, first place again. Woohoo! Final race. Four races in a cup. Not five races like Super Circuit or Super Mario Kart. Four. Standard four. Calamari Desert. Again, this one was remade for, this, for Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. They added some flying sections to this one, but by and large, again, it's the same. Now, if you're really quick, you can outrun the train on the first lap. Now, look at the computers. 
Because he saw that, right? They were supposed to get hit by the train, but somehow they didn't. Simon proves that the computers on Mario Kart 64 cheat. The Mario Double Dash, they cheat DS and up. They, they loosen the computer's cheatness a little. But on 64 and Super Mario Kart, they're really cheating. Cheating AI. Yeah. They do all sorts of stupid. They do all sorts of things that you can't regularly do. Hey, Mario. I see you. You may notice that you drop a banana peel without them running into you, you but it'll be fail to stay on the track, and who has to stop. Oh, um, it went too early. You, the trick is to stop far enough back so they get a running start when it's just as the train passes. I know you're behind me, Peach, but I, I can't fight. I've got to remember. I can't fire red shells backwards in this game. See, look at that. I flew up in the air, but Peach just stayed there. That's another pr sign of proof that the computer's cheat on this game. I shot her, but then she didn't fly up in the air like I did. Now I gotta play a little catch up. Since she's off screen, it's gonna be really hard to catch up to her now. Out of my own worst enemy, I hit my own item box. Oh, I, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. And it's just me and you now. Oh, it's just me now. <laughs> I'll just take the checkered flag. I, I got... Oh, oh, hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Okay, good. I was waiting for that to screw me over. Gotta remember, I can't fire shells... I can't fire green triple shells backwards in this game. But yeah, we made it. Woo. All first place. Yeah. No, but I'm stuck. Look at her and trains are just as annoying in this game as they are in real life. That Peach just drives through the train, where'd she go? What the crap is that? What? What? Ah. Anyway, yeah. Here's the trophy ceremony. You can't skip this, so you have to watch it. Woohoo. It takes place at Peach's Castle that she may, that may look, it, it looks very much like the Super Mario 64 model. In fact, on, on a later course, he can actually go to this small area, which I may or may not show. I'm sorry about the camera here, folks. Sorry. I can't imagine what it's going to look like on darker courses like Toad's Highway or Banshee Boardwalk or Rainbow Road. Kind of average it out between all the courses. Yeah, but, yep. On a pedestal, Peach. Luigi first, Peach second, Mario's third. But, uh, but again, there's two. When you play as a certain character, there's going to be two characters that are always going to be two, right up your butt. In this case, it was Peach and Mario. They'll be up your butt the whole Grand Prix. That'd be a bunch around with it and and attack the computers that are right up you, right up your butt. You can manipulate who their champion computers are. The, the champion computers change depending on which character you pick. They may have noticed that Peach and Mario were right up my butt the whole time. But yeah, it'll change depending on what, and they'll change depending on which character you pick. So you got different rivals for each character. But, it's, but like I said, you can manip manipulate it somewhat by making the champion computers do bad. They'll end up performing slightly worse, but they're still going to be the champion computers. But yeah, that's the end of the Mushroom Cup. Woohoo! First place, all first place. Yay! So, I'll see you guys in part two for the Flower Cup.